Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 22, and this is war number four. And we're going up against an alliance, I cannot say their name, uh, Menseo dos Vinegadores. Uh, probably mangled it, but in any case, uh, I've checked out my paths, and my standard team looks like it should be able to handle what I've seen uh, in terms of defenders. Now, this first fight, Medusa used to be used as the final boss. She is still an annoying defender, and this is actually a pretty decent placement for her. Now, if you've watched some of my previous war videos, you know that I n basically ignore this node. Sometimes that's not a good idea, but generally I ignore the node. And what you're going to see happen here is why she's a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent placement here. Uh, now, there's a question that I had when I was fighting this that I wasn't sure of. Okay, so as you all know, when she gets three Furies or more, she goes and gets that Living Strands and she will auto block. Okay, and we don't want that because um, he most likely has parry and so I'll get stunned. So you'll notice that when she has these three Furies, uh, I'm not trying to hit her. Now, I got hit there because I was too busy looking up because part of the node, unless I reset it, when those counters go down to zero, and you see them up there in the upper left-hand corner, um, she gains Furies. That's how the node works. I will have to land a special to reset it, but look at her Furies. Now, those are passive Furies, I believe. I don't know whether those count towards her living strands. So I was playing very nervous here, okay? And we managed to get her down, but it wasn't a pretty fight because not only was I not sure whether the passives counted towards the living strands, I, I don't think they do, but when I was doing this fight, I wasn't sure. And so I'm trying to fight her, you know, in a different way, you know, but what ended up happening when I got hit that first time is I got confused. You know, both of those Furies, her Furies and the passive Furies, they look very similar. And when you're in the middle of a fight and you're just trying to glance up really quick, it's hard sometimes to tell. So I glanced up, didn't see what I was looking to see and looked up again, got distracted, got hit, okay? Well, we got that fight down, wasn't pretty, but Nick Fury was able to bring it home for us. Now, this fight here, Symbiote Supreme, uh, not Symbiote Supreme, I always do that. Sorcerer Supreme um, is a pretty easy fight. Now, Warlock, uh, you'll notice here, Warlock was getting a lot of suppressions. Um, Warlock is a control champion. So if they have flow as the global, every time he does a heavy, not only does he do a pretty hefty bleed, it lasts a pretty good long time, but he also suppresses their power, combat power rate, all right? And against someone like Sorcerer Supreme, it's a wrap. You know, she's not going to get, you know, any kind of power. All right, so uh, as you saw, um, the mini came open, and here I am with this uh, Omega Red, and there's a Korg. Omega Red, perfect for this. Uh, so I'm happy that they let me have that. Uh, what often happens is, of course, as you saw, when I get there, the mini is not open yet. So even if I had wanted to boost and just keep going and hit the mini, I wouldn't have been able to. So I went as far as I could, used up my energy, uh, and then waited, and then they uh, cleared the mini. I can't remember if I got tagged or not, but when I did come back and check, uh, he was open, so we go in. Now, I kill Korgs all the time in Alliance Quest. Uh, they've removed him 
uh, if I remember correctly now, but I always used Havoc to take out Korg. But Omega Red is awesome. I remember having a discussion on one of my streams uh, as to whether Omega Red was better than Havoc at killing Korg. And honestly, they're both excellent options, but my contention, of course, was that out of the box, Havoc was better. Uh, meaning he doesn't need to be awakened, he doesn't need any kind of SIG level to be excellent. Now, with Omega Red out of the box, he can still take down Korg. Uh, but if you ever watch me take down Korg with Havoc, it's basically get to a special three and then take him out. That's it. He kills Korg very quickly. Uh, and that's pretty much what I did with him. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next AQ season because I bring Havoc uh, to Alliance Quest all the time. Even though they remove that Korg, I still bring uh, Havoc. I think Korg might still be on uh, some of the variations, but who knows what's going to happen during uh, the next season. Uh, but mutants are getting a major boost for the entire season of AQ. So Havoc will probably stay on the team uh, regardless. All right, so we got Korg down. He's not very difficult if you know how to fight Korg. If you can evade his specials, learn how to evade that special one. Uh, I used to get wrecked by that special one all the time. That's why I hated Korg. But once you learn how to do that and you manage his rock uh, stacks, get his rock shield down, um, he's not too bad to fight anymore. Uh, depending on the node, Mixmaster, Korg, can still be annoying. All right, so I went ahead and used up all my energy and I was eyeing that Havoc because I got Warlock. Uh, but when I uh, checked back, um, they had already taken out that, uh, uh, that Havoc. Now, I remember fighting a Havoc on that node and I got wrecked and I wasn't quite sure why. And uh, so I was a little wary, but I would have if I had the uh, energy there. And I forgot I had to go do something. Uh, and I was just short of that energy. Okay, so next up, we've got Red Guardian. Now, Red Guardian is not a difficult defender to fight. But he was somewhat unfamiliar to me. Now, I've fought Red Guardian before. But... I wasn't sure how the node would interact with him. Did it make him a little bit more difficult? Wasn't sure. Uh, now, I've seen that they've placed and they made some really good placements, okay, with their defenders. So that made me a little wary. You know, I'm like, okay, normally Red Guardian is very easy to take down. However, don't know. So you see I'm boosting up. Uh, I try to boost up, uh, unless I just forget. I try to boost up um, every time. Um, I have plenty of boosts. I don't use boosts in Alliance Quest. Um, at least I haven't been. But in War, I tend to uh, boost up. All right. So we're going in with Omega Red. And as you can see here, I'm just trying to uh, keep those spores on him, build up to 10 or more. There we go. Now we're doing some uh, decent damage. I locked it in with that heavy. Uh, his special 2 and his special 1. His special 1 is probably the trickier of the two. That one right there. Um, but both are fairly easy to evade. Uh, if I had a choice, I'd rather evade his special 2. So that makes it nice. I don't have to hold back. Um, I don't have to try to bait out special ones for fear that I'll push him to a special two. Nothing like that. And as you can see, he went down pretty easily. Uh, Omega Red is awesome. Now, this next fight, I wanted to make sure I was fully awake because Miles Morales can still catch you. All right. That evade that he gets, it can be very annoying and he hits decently hard all right so you go in there 
and try to just go all out on Miles Morales, and you're probably going to get wrecked. All right, so now I want to boost up because I'm going to use Warlock, and I have a strategy, okay, with uh, fighting against that Miles Morales. So I want to boost up, and I also uh, was asked to uh, take that mini as well. So I'm like, okay, let's uh, put a tech boost on. Now you see I chose the tech boost, but it's not up there. Okay, just look at that right there. It just blinked off. So I went out, went back in, and it is tech. It did apply. I'm hoping that that's not a bug or anything like that, um, that they are working. Because you remember back in the day, um, there was a bug with the boost. Some of the boosts weren't working. All right, so we got our tech boost in. And here's my strategy. Don't hit him while he's not stunned. And if you do, swing only once. Okay, once or twice. That's it, no full combos. So you see here, parry, um, heavy, you know, maybe one swipe, and that's it. And just look at that, working beautifully, okay? Just like, boom, and he's down. Never had to worry about him evading, instantly attacking at the same time as he's evading and wrecking me. Didn't have to worry about it, pretty easy. So this next fight, I did not feel comfortable with this fight at all. Uh, of course, Omega Red, she's a robot, so not a great option there. Um, then you have uh, Nick Fury. Again, she's bleed immune. Not a great option there. So the only one that I had uh, to throw into this fight was Warlock. But you see there, she's got Buffet. She's got Boost Buff. And remember, she gets an armor up, and it's pretty much indefinite. If it goes away for any reason, it comes right back. I forget. I think it's like 12 seconds or something. It comes right back. So she's constantly going to be having this uh, armor up. So I tried to, you know, stack my, my things in my favor a little bit. You know, did one of the big boy boosts. And now, and she, I was a little slow there, but I got her... You want to um, hit her with a heavy or knock her down in some way, uh, special, heavy, uh, because if you don't, and she has that uh, Digicloak uh, and it's not on cooldown, she's gonna go Digicloak and you don't want that. It's annoying, all right? So what you see here, I'm trying to feel my way out because I don't remember if I've ever fought her on this node before if i did i don't really remember it it may have been one time but this as far as i can recall was the first time okay and as you can see here not having a great time okay and so and look at that i forgot did not do the heavy like i said in the beginning she went digi instantly attacked me wrecked okay so i'm like okay okay now it's on cooldown so, you know, what happened there? Why he just stood there? Dropped input. Because I was trying to attack her. And so all he did was stand there. And I was like, uh, okay. And yeah, not having a good time right here, okay? Uh, what, what happens when you have a dropped input? It throws you off and you're trying to be careful, extra careful, okay? And I'm just, getting wrecked and I'm like okay how am I supposed to do this okay so I'm parrying her and there's that digi cloak because I forgot again to get it on cooldown uh, she's keeping my power drained all right I'm in the corner you know I got back out of the corner because it's on cooldown now okay and okay this time I'm trying to make sure I have the infection so that she doesn't regen because she regened up and I don't want that. Now at this point, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna take her down, but I don't want her to heal up. I want her to have a little bit of health so that my Alliance Mace can just come in and clean it up. Or if I'm allowed to, I can come in and then just clean it up very quickly. 
okay? So I want her to make sure she knows she was in a fight, okay? All right, so you can see I'm trying to keep that combat power rate, but it is not helping. It is not helping at all, okay? And so look at my health, 1%, nothing I can do. Um, and I'm going to end up doing something here that, you know, that right there. She dashes across the screen like that. I don't, it always catches me, you know? I'm like, okay, I think I'm far enough back. And she just lunges. Uh, but anyway, that is it for my participation in this war. Uh, my alliance mates came by, uh, finished her off, and I was not needed for any of the minis or the boss. All right, so... We'll be back in a moment, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. Uh, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.